Uh, let's move on to the Chiefs and, and Bengals. That's always a great game. Came down to the last field goal. Chiefs pulled a win out, 26-25. Thank God. <laughs> that would have been tough for y'all. I'm not going to lie. Joe Burrow, 23 completions, 258 yards, two touchdowns. Patrick Mahomes, 18 completions, 151 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I'm sorry to forget it. Like they, they Cincinnati just plays them tight. Like you know, yeah. they had a chance to win the game. Um, a lot of people said they shouldn't have won the game, but you left Pat Mahomes. You gave Pat Mahomes the ball last, and that's usually what happened. Pat Mahomes with the ball last. He, they usually the East team usually win the game. Um, shout out to the Bengals for showing up because we. I think we all. I think a lot of people. They a lot of people wrote them off going into Kansas City, and they still they owe to. So that's not give them. That's not talk about it too much. They still owe to. Um, you know, I, I don't know who they play next, but they still, but they they played well enough to win the game. Say they gave um just gave Patty Patty the ball um last. Um, I think my biggest to be take away from this game um is that Pacheco hurt. You know, mm-hmm. that's 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 a big loss for them. Um but no, but Both we'll see we'll see, well, we'll see how he uh usually Andy Reid don't take long to, to refill or restock for these next six to eight weeks or whatever. Kareem Hunt. Um, yeah, I so was we'll just see. thinking that right got so to. We'll, we'll see how they got adjust. To. We'll see that, but um Man, it, it was a good game. I, I, pre, I appreciate it. it was a good game, especially after that damn Ravens game. So you know, it, it was definitely it was definitely a good game. And uh, I we I could not have taken the Bengals being one on one with a win at the Chief Show. So it is like it, as much as you can call me here if you want to. I'm happy they went to with us. Nah, I need I need them right down in the cellar with us, man. You know, what I mean, it gives me it makes me feel a little better when I wake up. Like, damn, I'm on too. Well, at least some niggas on too too. But <laughs> uh, shoot. The Bengals should have won the game. Bengals should have mm-hmm. won the game, and that's a to Key's point. That's one of those situations where, you know, just one particular team might have another team's number. I think the Chiefs, their kryptonite might kryptonite might just be the Bengals, just because mm-hmm. the Bengals approach it how they approach it. I don't know if it's coaching, um, but it's it's starting somewhere. You know, Zach Taylor, you know, has those guys going into any environment against the Chiefs, whether it's home or on the road, thinking that they're going to come away with a victory and they play like it. For whatever reason, the Bengals defense just starts to turn into a different type of defense when they play Patrick Mahomes. It's kind of eerie, um, you know, how much he's kind of not been himself versus that particular team. Um, Burrow outdueled him. I don't think anybody's going to, you know, you know, take any, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't think there's any takes to takes to make from that, other than, you know, football is a team game, and you know, the Bengals defense has the Chiefs offense number, and it's very surprising. Uh, Chiefs came, Chiefs do what the Chiefs do; they find a way to win. Um, and that's just a measure of great coaching, great culture. Uh, a great organization and an organization that's continually committed to winning and uh, recognized failure, right? So even when they lost the Super Bowl, they came back, made adjustments, and, you know, started winning again. This is something that we should take notes, you know, with as far as Ravens fans. Like, you know, the Chiefs, we want to be that fear team that teams don't want us to have the ball last. You know, as opposed to Mike Tomlin said, they're saying, you know, just hang in there with the Ravens. They'll they'll find a way to fuck it up and piss on their leg. We don't want to be known as that team. But right now, that's our reputation. You know, shout out to the Chiefs for, you know, just being the boogeyman of the NFL. Even when they play bad, they win. Yeah. yeah. So the uh, Bengals next couple games, uh, Commanders, Panthers, Ravens, Ravens, Giants. So they got they, a favorable they, they, stretch. They got a favorable that, that stretch. That is nasty, dog. They got a favorable stretch coming up. <laughs> that is nasty, dog. Like, that is so nasty. Like, what? You got a, got a commander's team. They got a win, but they got a rookie quarterback. So you always got to worry about that. You got a yeah, Panthers team. They got team. them on Monday night. Yeah, so you got a Panthers real, team. These, who just these guys were on my Dallas trip, yo. I don't even want to go no more. Yeah, so <laughs> this they got a favorable stretch coming up. So so we'll see how they – uh. What was I on, dude? <laughs> <I'm a riot. laughs> what was I gonna do? This crazy dog. What would he be saying? Mariah, we hot like fire. That's what, what he said. Suck on it like a pacifier. What he say? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not how it went. That's not. How not how it went. Old dirty right hey, now. you know what? Zion <laughs> and ODB are more alike than they are different, low key. 